Right, hello, today um, I'm going to show you a little bit about Euro fishing. Right, we're going to select where I'm going. It's, uh, it's a lake in Spain, I do believe. Right. Going to this swim. I've only fished a swim about two to three times, probably. Once online and two times just messing around, getting the right rig set up. So the one I'm going to use today, I think, I'm going to go for rig size 6 gravel and the bait I'm using is going to be the cooler dumbbell it's 10 millimeter dumbbell that's, a, that's caught me some big fish that's caught me um, I think it's a 51 pound common or probably a 37 pound cat this is usually a good spot to, to, to cast into I think this is where I had the common and the place I'm going to cast this next rod is where I had the cat 37 pound cat the last time I was on this lake so again I'm gonna I'm gonna use this different rig, I'm gonna use a size eight, but I'm gonna use also the dumbbell pop up on this. Just to see uh see how we go with it. So new 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 uh, hook I'm using, new rig I'm using. Oh, have we got a scream already? Get in there, let's see what we got here. I'm also just gonna I'm gonna put the drag up a little bit because um I'm not going to fight the fish for a long time, I'm just going to get in as quick as possible so I can show you a fish. I mean this game isn't too, um, too hard to play, it's, uh, when you start out you catch bream and stuff like that and once you get past the bream you start building up a little bit of money, you start building up a bit more tackle and you can start going out for the bigger fish but you got to grin and bear it with the bream and the tench and first, first early doors you know but um, yeah like I say once you get your tackle built up be sweet as a nuts, get out of there catching bigger fish. This one's fighting quite hard to be fair. That's really fighting like a bit of a, a bit of a carp. Oh, there's another the other rods going as well. Get this one in quick. Come on you beauty. Get in. Get in you beauty. See I've only had these rods out about what two minutes? Drags up to 61 now, so we got him in. What have we got? Oh we've got a little cat, lovely. Look at that, a little beauty. I'm happy with that. Let's get this other rod in, let's get this other fish in. That's just using the dumbbell 10 millimetre, the colder dumbbell. Well, I think it's the size of six, six hook I'm using. This is the one with the eight hook, and this is using the cooler dumbbell also. This one's also quite a fighting quite hard. coming he is definitely coming not losing this one this seems like a prize fish it's also fighting quite hard but this is such a lovely lake to do fishing in because man I've, I've had all my nice fish out of this lake out of this swim even so it's a good definitely a good one for us beginners out there I mean I've only been playing the game for a little bit myself definitely one of the best swims I've, I've been at Lovely mirror. What a lovely mirror. It's probably about 14 pounds on that. 17, close enough. Let's get him back in there. Right. This is where I always place my second rod for some reason, I don't know why. But it seems like I'm always getting bites where I cast these three rods. I think I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna group them quite close together anyway, just so it makes it a bit easier when I'm when I'm recording to show you guys anyway. We're gonna go roughly for that sign, near enough all the way at the back there. And with the third rod, we're gonna go also grouping. I'm gonna keep it simple. It's gonna go for the pop up and the size 8 hook go for quite a big hook here 
because there is big fish here. What a cast. There's also two different methods of casting this. You can do it yourself or you can do the way that I do it and just have it assisted cast which is a lot easier anyway it saves all the messing about it saves all the scaring away the fish when you foul casting it's believe me I can't cast in this game it's uh, it's very hard to do obviously it takes time to get used to it but I just want to get straight out there and catch fish I don't want to be messing around casting so the assisted cast is the one for me with a, with a bit of luck we'll have another screamer What a game, I think. It's about 7 50 to buy on the Xbox store at the moment. So if you haven't got it and you're just reading up on it, looking at it, definitely it's worth the money all day long. Especially if you're if you're really good deep into fishing like me. I love fishing, I love everything to do with fishing. As soon as I see this game, I had to get it. A bit difficult to start with. Oh, we've got another one. Let's have it. What's this? I wonder. Again, sticking that drag up just to get this fish in. Just don't go massively over top and drag because you will lose it. I've lost so many fish just getting too excited and just reeling in too fast. And it takes a bit of getting used to, but once you get the knack of it, that's why I've only just done a video now. I didn't want to do a video when I was beginning myself because I just make myself look stupid. But this fish isn't fighting so hard, it's probably a small... Oh, we've got the other rod going as well. Yeah, chance are this fish is only a small fish anyway, so if I lose it, I don't really care, but... Let's see if we get it in. The other one's screaming. Well and truly screaming. It's got the fish in, cool as you like. Get this in quickly, get it back out. I know it's a small one anyway. Yeah. Little common, get it back in. Here we go. We're having it on the dumbbell, call the dumbbell. What is going on here? First time I knew of a fish swimming on land. Never had this before. I wonder if I'm going to lose him. It feels like a lovely fish as well. understand that some sort of glitch first time I've had that so I wouldn't worry too much about it but if I lose it I'm going to be annoyed because it feels like a strong fish I mean drags on 61 already and it's still struggling but he's getting tired and he's sticking cl so close to that bank I've got a massive feeling this is going to be another uh, cat it feels like quite a big cat as well could be wrong could be a carp Definitely fighting like it's a cat. That's what I do. The cats stick to the bank. That's what I've noticed. The cats stick to that bank. As soon as you get a carp, the carp runs away like a madman. But it's worn out. We've worn it out. Let's see what it is. There goes the rod again. Such a beautiful spot to fish this. What a swim. Ah, oh, look at that cat. Lovely. Beautiful cat. £24, 4 ounces. Right, let's get that second one in. Started off with a high drag. Still fighting quite hard to the drag, to be fair. This fish is playing ball. We're gonna get him in before we end the video. And all for part two. It's gonna be catfish hunting. I'm gonna go for the big cat. Next video, just tune in. Next, I'm gonna go for the big cat and we'll see how we get on. But I think definitely for my preference, and call the dumbbells are definitely the one that works for the beginning beginning fishing. As soon as you get them, you start getting some big fishing. Let's see what we've got here anyway. A lovely little mirror. Yeah, that'll do me. Anyway, goodbye.